Hello there, uh, my name is Narendra Kumar and we are from Narendra Academy. And in the last class we understood the profound point that the average kinetic energy of the particles or the molecules inside a substance, inside a substance is a measure of temperature. That's why when we rub our hands, the inside materials are moving, it gives the sensation of heat. Now we'll do activity 4. Uh, page number 4 in this wonderful textbook, uh, which is physics through activities, physics made simple. Take water in a container. I think if I make a diagram, it will be very nice. Uh, the same diagram which is there in the book. So, take water in a container. So, you have a container like this. Okay, and what do you would take in this? We take water. So, um, it is like a size 3D effect. And in this, you have a substance. Okay, we take uh, take water a container and heat it to 60 degrees centigrade. So, this is water, this is water and this is hot water and this is heated to 60 degrees centigrade. Take a cylindrical transparent glass jar, take a cylindrical transparent glass jar and fill half of it with this hot water. So, you take this with hot water, uh, very gently pour. So, you take a cylindrical transparent glass jar and fill half of it with hot water. So, that hot water from another cylinder, you got this here. In a container, you got this in a transparent cylinder. Then very gently pour coconut water over the surface of the water. So, you have now the coconut water. So, this is 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 coconut water. Coconut water. Why should we pour it gently so that it does not disturb the water? It's just resting on the surface. Take care that the water and oil do not mix. By the force, do not mix. Actually, it won't mix. But if you force it, then it will just a little mix. Put a lid with two holes on the top of the glass jar. So, you put a lid, you cover this, you cover this and and you put a, you put a lid and with two holes on the top of this, so you put a two holes here, two holes here. Take two thermometers and insert, insert them through the holes of the lid in such a way that bulb of the one thermometer lies only inside the water and the other lies only inside the coconut oil as shown. So, you have a in through this, through this you put this thermometer and other thermometer you only in water, only in water. So, this is fully is coconut oil. So, clear this whole, the whole concept is clear. This is water, this is coconut oil. Now, it is so, so beautiful. <coughs> now, observe the readings of the two thermometers. Observe the readings of the two thermometers. The reading of the thermometer kept in water decreases. This is hot water, so it decreases. While at the same time, the reading of the thermometer kept in the oil increases. So, this is cold. This oil is cold, colder than the thermometer. So, the reading increases here the reading increases. Suppose it was here, it goes here. And here what happens in this thermometer? It decreases because this is hot. This is hot. The reading of the uh, thing in this oil increases and the reading of the thermometer kept in the water decreases. Why does this happen? Because the average kinetic energy of the molecules of oil increases. Why does this happen? Because the average kinetic energy of the molecules of oil increases. While the average kinetic energy of the molecules of water decreases. In other words, the temperature of the oil increases while the temperature of the water decreases. This is very interesting. Can you say that the water loses energy? From the above discussion, it is clear that water loses energy, loses energy while oil gains energy. 
because of the temperature difference between the water and the oil. Thus, some heat energy flows from water to oil. So, what's happening here? The heat energy is flowing from water to oil. This is obvious. So, this is so interesting. This is hot water, but this hot, uh, hot energy is going to the coconut oil. That's all the concept here. And this gains in heat energy. Because this gains in heat energy, this the temperature of this coconut water increases, the temperature of hot water decreases. This means the kinetic energy of the molecules of the water decreases. So, obviously, this is hot, it is giving its energy to the coconut water. So, this energy decreases. Thus, some heat energy flows from water to oil. This means the kinetic energy of the molecules of the water decreases, while the kinetic energy of the molecules of oil increases. Can you now differentiate between heat and temperature based on the discussion we have made of the above activities? That is activity 3 and 4. With activities 2, 3 and 4, we can differentiate heat and temperature as follows. Now, we come a deeper understanding and a, almost a complete understanding. Heat is the energy that flows from a hotter body to a colder body. Temperature is the quantity that denotes which body is hotter and which body is colder. So, temperature determines the direction of heat energy flow, whereas heat is the energy that flows. You got it. Temperature determines. What does the temperature determine? Which direction heat will go? But that energy which moves is heat. So simple. This is not very difficult. If something is hotter, it is at a higher temperature. If something is colder, it is at a lower temperature. The heat energy flows from the body at a higher temperature to a body at a lower temperature. Okay. So, that is the, the what is flowing, the energy that is flowing is heat. That, that which determines the direction of the flow is temperature. That is all. So, that completes activity 4. My name is Narendra Kumar and we will meet in the next section with a lovely concept called specific heat.